Christian yeah. teacher he is, but and we're, not, he's we're back on But we love the person. Oh, right. So we don't have but, but we just remove the rights. But we will warn them <laughs> and, and say... We, we love you, but you, you're, the you're not getting any The issue here is not which religion is better. The issue here is tolerance versus intolerance. We love you, but you're just living the most. Go away. No, no, no. It's true. You put words in my mouth now. No, your Christian tradition speaks for itself. We're back. The words in your mouth are back. I give you the words of Jesus. Love the persons. We love gay people, but we hate the destructive nature of sin. It's, it's a perversion. It's a perversion. And everybody's a sinner. You're a sinner, aren't you? We all are. You're a sinner. I was. Right, so you're going to hell. I was. I was. All right. I'm a sinner. So, all right. So, you, so, so you know you're going to heaven. You've, been, you've got a, a, a ticket for heaven. My life is So there's no doubt. There's no doubt. That you, there's no doubt that you're going to heaven. Have really? So you know God's will, is that right? Uh, I know his general will, but he's, right. he's shown you So there's a little bit of doubt you might be The question no, in here... In terms of salvation, no. The I'm question here... Oh, that is why, why no, no, this should be the most positive. No, no, no. So where are we going now? Yes, sir. So you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, I'm all right. Look. The question here isn't about which religion is better. The question here is about how you tolerate. That's, it's not that's why he's right. religious. Uh, Steve, Steve. That's why you're religious, right. because you think you have certainty about what's going to happen right, to right, you. Right, right, right. I have Bring you in this conversation, yeah? That, sorry, but I put that arrogance. Right, we're talking about LGBT yeah. and Christianity. Fundamentalism now, is the Christian. Now, Christian. No. Or LGBT. The Christian well, tradition well, is just as damaging to gay people uh, as the Muslim tradition. Uh, uh, fundamentalism uh, is the uh, issue, uh, uh, not Christianity uh, or Islam. Uh, Fundam <laughs> fundamentalism is the issue, not Christianity or Islam. Yeah, but there are progressive, tolerant Muslims and there are progressive, tolerant Christians. Just like they are hateful, violent, intolerant Christians and hateful, Not violent, many violent, violent hateful, intolerant Christians. I think there were six or seven wars on, in the Middle East that were fought over Christianity. Uh, they Christian, didn't do it in the uh, name of Christianity. Really? Christopher they did, they did not. They Christ did not go with crosses. They, 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 they were doing the equivalent of shouting Aloak. Well, they, they, they were doing the equivalent of Are you going back to the Crusades? Yes. Holy shit. No, no, forget that. You have to go back that far. Christopher Columbus. Let's do a bit more current. Can you think of any current examples? Yes. The Lord's Protection Army in the Central African Republic. Christian terrorist group rapes and murders their way across all of Central Africa. Have you ever heard of um, Joseph Coney? He's a um, the Americas were wiped out, wiped out, and it was in the name, name of Christianity. Just like in the name of Christ. ISIS, 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 they were saying in the name of Christ. ISIS, but they're following the teachings in their Quran. Oh, I see some more pure followers. That is false. Do you know what Muhammad did? They're doing exactly what Muhammad did. He was a warlord. He was a slaughtering, raping, killing warlord. In the Quran, they are doing exactly what Muhammad did. Jews and Christians are doing what Muhammad did. And two rules don't make a right. Two rules don't make a right. But he's saying it's not Islam. It is not Islam. They are. It's no, pure Islam. Islam. No, it what is not. What was Muhammad made the tourists through terrorism? He was made the tourists through terrorism. Yes. Are you qualified to speak? Are you ready to family Islam? dispute? We have you, do know, you do know Mohammed right? Christopher murder. Columbus, the best Christian. He's a Catholic. Do you know, right. do you know that point? Jesus didn't do that, did Mohammed? Yes, he did. That's why he's well known. So Mohammed did that. Do you accept that point? He was citing the Bible. So therefore, if ISIS are doing the same, surely that makes them quite curious. That's not the same. Why do you not say that? It is an issue every time. Muhammad did it. No, 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 no you're comparing, you're comparing a pre-Islamic society to a modern society. Our conception of justice, they were all in the Bible. He was quoted in the Bible. Some have been joined in the Bible. Some have. This is why, this is why, this is why. Jesus said to love your enemies. What part of that don't you get? You can't compare, like you said, the modern times. But I thought Muhammad made the example for all time. They are different. I thought the Quran is unchanging. It's the rules for all the Quran time. Quran says to treat them with dignity and respect. So if it's a right? The the Quran. things do change. The context Honestly, changes. Like, we evolve. We grow. No, yes. Islam doesn't. I have indeed. It's one unchanging really? test. Really? Really? We, we all have to roll up our trousers because Muhammad rolled up his trousers. And it's crazy. It's crazy. There are... My friend, if this was the case... Your ignorance is crazy. Islam needs a reformation. the Bible. And I regret that I have... Reformation is already happening. There are lots of Muslims. You're questioning this. No, I can, well, I can tell you. Islam but I can't. Yeah, I can't that, that says in the Quran. But they mentioned Sharia law once in the Quran. Not even Sharia law. Just the word Sharia is mentioned once in the Quran. And it is when God says to Muhammad, "I will show you Sharia. I will show you the truth."
true path. All right, Sharia law is not in the Quran. Well, that's a word. Jihad is... That's a word. Let's not focus Shariah on Sharia law is not in the Quran. The concept but isn't even mentioned. But you know what jihad mentioned. is? Yeah, what is jihad? Is what is jihad? Is Just a crusade. No, 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 no. All religions have a holy war. Going to war. The devil or temptation. Does a Muslim not have right to defend himself? Does a Muslim not defend himself? Unfortunately, it was spread around the world. Defensively, not so but Christianity is in think, every part of the world. How did Islam come to Eastern Europe? How did Christianity end up in every part of the world? Should we stay with Eastern Europe? We can't go all over the world. Right, Eastern Europe, Eastern Europe. Yeah, yeah. And they yeah. took yeah. young children away from their families and sent them back to Turkey to fight in the Ottoman Empire. Uh, I would need to see evidence yeah. for that, to be honest. You need to see it. It's a historical fact, my yeah. friend. How are there two billion Christians? Is there just love of Jesus? How are there two billion Christians? You have to see Caesar to believe Caesar. How are there two billion Christians? I actually want to know. So Two billion Christians in Latin America and every part of the world. Uh, is it love for Jesus? I'm myself over and over again. Yeah. A Christian is somebody who follows the teachings of Jesus. Right. Now, if I'm killing somebody in the name of Jesus, then I'm not a Christian. If right. so I'm taking homosexuals from the top of the roof and throwing them down, I'm not following the teachings of Jesus. Yeah. If I'm taking somebody who's converted from Islam to Christianity and killing them, then I can't be following the teachings It's really simple. Well, in the front, it says, I can give you many, many examples about how peaceful you have to be. I can give you many examples. It doesn't matter, because right? But did he just say, but did he just say, tell me, it tell me which, which Islamic country is at peace at the moment. Morocco! Jihad, Jihad. Algeria! Which country is Jihad? Which country is at peace? How many British people are going on holiday to those countries? Very little, because of terror. Because of terror. Morocco's a giant country. 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 Morocco's a giant
Africa. No, 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 no. But this, this issue began after Gaddafi was removed. Oh, you're saying the war in Syria had nothing to do with it? It all happened at once. What about, what about the Bangladeshis coming? What about the Afghanis coming? What about uh, the Albanians coming? There's no war in Albania. Well, for Albania. For all the, the Muslims coming from that part of the region. The whole African immigration, that was due to Gaddafi. And then, okay, you freak out about ISIS. Then why do you know? Well, yeah, of course. But, but you, you guys created them. The European language. Why did, why did we do remove Saddam who had captured Iraqis? They would never been a single... Uh, uh, Saddam wasn't a nice guy, was he? Uh, but, but at least he kept the country intact. He might have kept the lid. But he, yeah, he kept the lid, you gotta admit. Well, you decide to be heroes, kill a million Iraqis, and then, then you end up with ISIS. And then you got freaked out about that too. Are you Christian? The problem with the European is that you, you always seem to be the cause of your own mess. And, but then you love... You're, you're quick to blame everyone else. So it's like, you didn't need to open up. You did not need to create ISIS. You, you, you turned into a playground for terrorists. Iraq. Iraq had one leader. You can call him tough. He had one leader. It turned into a playground for terrorists. Why would you do that? I didn't support the war. Right? Why would you? And then you start freaking out. Oh, look, there's a bunch of terrorists. They want to attack us. Why would you remove Saddam? Why would you kill the Iraqis? Right on top of that, Europe tends to create, tends to be the cause of the war. Iraq is a perfect example. You can call him a dictator, but he had a lead. He, he was tough on his people. But Iraq was in check. Now, um, the Brits decide to be heroes. You end up with the Brits in Iraq. It's anarchy and a playground for terrorists. Who end up, you know, kind of spreading all over the place. But if you're, there's, there's, you're, you're Muslim, Muslim. Yeah, yeah. But if your way of life is superior, guys, why are you should write that pretty down? You probably sell a lot of books. Well, if you're claiming that your body's all powerful, the host of Islam is on fire all the time by the Western The host of Islam is on fire. That's how it works. That's how it's working. He's defeated. It's not like a, a game of chess for God. No, but it's not. But it's not, but it's not how it works. Let me give you an example. It's not how it works. Five Arab armies invaded, attacked the state of Israel. Yeah. But you were defeated. But your God is supposed to be greater. It doesn't work that way. Yeah. Muhammad himself, he, he lost some battles. So what you're saying doesn't make sense. Even if God, God is with you, if God is with you, surely you should be victorious. It doesn't work that way. It should be. You, you because have my to, God that I serve you is have victorious, to, not a loser. You, no, no, you have to pray to God in, in good and bad. You don't, it's not a condition, I'm going to pray to you, I'm not to you, it doesn't work that way. What about conquering the lots and lots of Christians? <laughs> because that was a judgment of God on, on a people that turned their back on God. Uh, so you guys are victorious you read, you read the Bible, every time the Jews worshipped God, they were protected. Every time they rejected him and fell into idolatry, yeah. he allowed neighboring countries to so right really? now they're really? Right now, that's right now, that's that's right now why hasn't that's France that's France that's that's you know that? Just like this country must have a direct line to God. Hello, God. I check out this little bit of Jewish history. Yes, my and son. They will be when they become the blah blah blah, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I do them down. They will be invaded. They will be invaded. Yeah. You're hallucinating. I can tell you we're not going anywhere. Can I have some? Yeah, you will. Yeah, that, that's the Bible already tells me what's going to happen. It they does. will be invaded. Really? Yeah. Who's going to win the lottery next week? There will be a battle of Armageddon. You have yet to explain when this is going to happen. That's a little far fetched. It'll be soon. It'll be soon. It'll be soon. It'll happen. Actually, there's a time called Armageddon somewhere in the Middle East, isn't there? There was a video as well. Where we going? Right, right. So you think that Jesus is going to come back and there's going to be a big battle between the Russians and the... God, you've been reading really? my book, mate. No, you're depressed, aren't you? Floor! <laughs> <I'm not laughs> Floor, you're, you're, you're dreaming. I'm on the winning side. You're dreaming. I'm on the you're winning dreaming. side. Well, in He's the dreaming. Yeah, He's in dreaming the about the end of the world as if it's going to be a good side. thing. The winning side. You see, this is the kind of weird, pessimistic view that Christians have. It's optimistic. The end, is with the end of the world is going to happen in this big war, and then he's going to live forever happy with God. He's going to I'm usher gonna in the forever. kingdom of God. He's going to come back and put his feet on the mountain feet. of olives. Feet. Yeah. feet. That's the Bible. Read the Bible. Was well, olive oil good for the feet? Now, let me ask you, a Palestinian, yeah? What size are his feet, anyway? Are you an Arab? Very big. Does God have corns or, you know, athlete's feet? 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 Yeah. Who, does God cut his own nails? So, so the Palestinian do with the never existed as a country before, Never existed as a country. Yeah. Well, I, I, it's, it's a question. Uh, right. What do you mean never existed? Well, no, well, there's, there's, there's this, nation uh, states in general is a new phenomenon. The idea of nation states is fairly new in general. Well, of course it is. It's, uh, no, it's 18th yeah. century. So, I mean, 18th century. Don't, yeah, so don't confine it to Palestine. The, the idea of well, nation well, states I'm being told there's a Palestinian, uh, Palestinian uh, in the, uh, the modern sense with group. borders and things. Right. But and you're and not, you're right. Jews don't have it. They didn't have it. Europe's are not all one. Arabs are not all one. It's like saying all Europe is a continent. We can't use that example. But you say Palestinian. 
Palestinians just yeah, an area. Yeah, I, that, I that name was given by the Roman Empire me, for that particular area. No, but ethnically, no, no. you are an Arab. The Philistines, you are the Philistines go back the Roman centuries. The Philistines, that area was the Philistines not come from oh yeah, so, And that name is that same region. Yeah, but you're not from, from the people from the I tribe of Philistines that come from Crete. You're from Arabia. From the Greek, you said. The Greek. The Philistines. Well, Arabia is from the peninsula. The other area. Yeah, but, but you come from Saudi Arabia. Is that where Philadelphia is? I wouldn't be in this way if I came from Saudi Arabia. So there are Arabs are not the there's been a lot of intermixing it's that, it's exactly. being Palestinian no, is a lot of intermixing. Exactly. This is why Saudi Arabians has been less intermixing. They're all the same color. Can I ask you a question. Yes. Why was Jesus Jewish? Because he was because they came. No. Because, because his mother was a Jew. Jesus wasn't Jesus, God. Right? No, he wasn't. Was Jesus, was Jesus, Jesus was a Jew Jesus? because he came from the tribe of Judah, which is one of the tribes of Israel. So, so he wasn't God. So he was a, wasn't How God. How can he be God if he had a God? Yeah, different sort of question. What's the matter with people now? I'm sorry. I think most Christians think Jesus is God. Yeah, but they're deluded, isn't it? So so what, what, was what, was what was he? What was Jesus? Jesus. Was he just the a very Messiah. naughty boy? He was the Messiah, the promised prophet, Messiah. The promised prophet. He prayed to God. He prayed to God. Are you proud of him? He prayed to God. Are you right, yeah? What are you? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I've never met another Christian before. I've never met another Christian before. Hold on a second. I've never met another Christian before. I've never met another Christian before. And now suddenly he tells us that the God that he's talking about isn't the God at all. You don't ask the important questions. He's telling us he wasn't religious. How could Jesus be God? That's what he's saying. I'm talking about following the teachings of Jesus, and Jesus right. tells so you us follow, to follow uh, Jesus God. the man. Jesus okay. what, what denomination are you? Yeah. What, what well, I'm not into denomination. I follow the what teachings are you of Jesus. Into? Jesus said to worship God and God alone. Why do you keep pointing up? Why do you keep pointing up there for? It's just, it's just when, when Jesus was praying, Pollution. he was crying out to his God. And but, but you don't believe in that God. Is the devil down there? I believe that he was the Messiah. But he wasn't God. He wasn't what's God. The Messiah? How could he be God? Uh, okay, if he okay. Had a God? Let's just clear this up. He wasn't me, God. Was he wasn't God. There was no God go. the Father. Correct. Uh, nice to meet you. No Good God, God the you. Father. Yeah, Good to meet you. There's no God the Father. I'm, I'm heading out. Okay. Good to meet you. You're going to church, aren't you? <laughs> You're coming. What? What's the time now? <laughs> Right. There's a ten o'clock service. I have a dinner. <laughs> <laughs> no, actual food is more important than the spiritual. Yeah, it's real. Yeah. What is the spiritual thing? Yeah. Jack, I'm off myself, lads. I've got to go myself. What's yeah. the spirit? Nice one. We're going up there. Yeah. You know what it's about. Right. Right. Yeah. So what's the spirit? Yeah. See you next week. I'll look after you. Cheers, lads. What is the spirit?